Whether you are creating a website for yourself or for a client, we all know how important it is to catch website visitors' attention. So today I want to talk about Elemental pop-ups and why, in my opinion, it is a game changer. Hello, I'm your host, Casino. I'm a digital alchemist. And today we're going to take a look at the pop-up feature of Elementor Pro. So before we start, I want to stress that point. Elementor pop-ups is for Elementor Pro, which means that you must have a Pro license. But if you're serious about your website, even though the free version of Elementor is gorgeous, I strongly encourage you to go pro if you want to take advantage of the most powerful features of Elementor, such as the ability to completely customize parts of your websites that are usually handled by your WordPress theme. And if you want to know more about Elementor Pro, I've created a video just about that and you will find the link in the description of this video. So as I said in the introduction, I believe Elementor pop-ups changes the game for many of us and I'm going to give you 10 reasons why. One, Elementor pop-ups offers the fastest workflow to create and manage multiple pop-ups. So if you look at this page, I created a few pop-ups. So pop-up number one is just a regular pop-up. Number two is a bit different. It's like dressing the page, but you still see the content. Pop-up number three is a side pop-up with some nice animation. And before I move on, I want to tell you that I only created those pop-ups in just a few minutes. So pop-up number four is a, an age gate pop-up. Number five is a off canvas panel. And I want to talk about that for a minute. When we think about pop-ups, we only think about the, the pop-ups we saw right here, pop-up number one. But what you can do with Elementor pop-ups is much more. As you can see here, we have a, a side panel and here it's a login panel. And I want to show you number six. And number six is on off canvas navigation. Now, that's really nice if your theme does not allow to do this kind of side uh, navigation. Or for example, if you want to do a full screen navigation and it doesn't come uh, as an option with your theme, especially in desktop mode. This is what I managed to do with Elementor pop-ups. So if I click on the navigation, what you see here is actually a full screen pop-up from Elementor pop-ups. It's not the navigation from the theme I'm using. I'm using Astra and I love Astra by the way, but for the moment, I don't have an option in Astra to have a full screen navigation out of the box. So this is a great way to do it with Elementor pop-ups and we'll discuss it a little bit later. Two, with Elementor pop-ups, you can actually design your pop-ups with all the power, the features and the widgets of Elementor. So as we've just seen, I created the full screen navigation with Elementor pop-ups. And if you're used to Elementor, you're used to the interface and it's gonna be very easy. As you can see, I can just drag and drop the elements in the navigation and I can add more um, widgets. So if I want to add an image, for example, I can add an I can add an image right here. Now, of course, that's not something I would really want to do in the navigation, but you get the idea. You can use pretty much everything that you use in Elementor. You want to use a price table, go ahead. <laughs> you can do that. So the power of Elementor pop-ups does not only lie in Elementor pop-ups itself, but actually in Elementor Pro. If you look at Elementor Pro today, is the industry leading theme builder with more than 50 top-notch widgets. And basically you can do pretty much anything you want with Elementor Pro. UX, UI prototyping, uh, complete designs. You know, nowadays with Elementor Pro, I don't even do the design Photoshop anymore. Okay, if you're new to the game of creating a website, I still encourage you to actually do the wireframes and then to have design mockups. But honestly, for me, I just designed straight in Elementor because I can also use it as a tool like Photoshop, but it's faster because I can see the responsiveness right in the browser. Whereas in Photoshop, I would have to do views for the desktop, for mobile, for tablet. And I know there are other tools out there to do that, but still, you know, it's extra steps. And for me today, with the technology of today, I find it faster for me to go, uh, even from wireframes, straight to Elementor Pro. Sometimes for very small website websites, I, I, would, I would even skip the wireframes because I have the wireframes in my head. But if you're getting started, you should definitely do wireframes 
at the bare minimum. So compared to other solutions that allow you to create pop-ups in WordPress, Elements or pop-ups gives you a complete freedom of design. And that's really important because many of these tools, they're okay, but they're very limited in what you can do visually. And that's not the case with Elementor. Three, with Elementor pop-ups, you can do everything in one interface. And basically it's the Elementor page builder. So if you look at this uh, pop-up, which is actually the navigation that I showed here, the off canvas navigation, you can do everything just here in the, in the page builder. So once again, I can select that widget and I can move stuff around and you see the changes are reflected. Then I can look at the display conditions. So in that case, I decided to only show that pop-up on the books page. Next, I can look at the triggers I want and we'll talk about the triggers later but I can select the triggers here and then I can select the advanced rules. And once I'm happy, I just save and close. So that's really a gain of time because I'm going to do everything here in the page builder. I can do my design. Uh, I can uh, create the display conditions, the, the targeting, the triggering. And basically I can work a lot more faster than if I had to go look at each and every option in different spots, different places. And I really love that. What's more, as we'll see in a moment, if you already use Elementor, then you already know how to use Elementor pop-ups. For zero learning curve. Elementor pop-ups just uses the Elementor page builder. So if you learn to create your website with Elementor, you'll be right at home with Elementor pop-ups because really there's nothing complicated about it. The only thing that you need to know uh, apart from the design is how to select the display conditions, the targeting and the triggering. But we'll see that in a moment. And that's really, really, really easy. Five, Elementor pop-ups uses content from Elementor, WordPress, and even WooCommerce. So for example, if I drag that global element from the Elementor library, I can just add it to the pop-up and I could add um, elements from the uh, WordPress media library. I can add uh, uh, products from the WooCommerce store, anything you think of and that's in WordPress, you can add to your pop-ups. So that's great because as I mentioned earlier, there's no limit now to your creativity and you can reuse assets that you already spent time working on. And now you can just reuse it in your pop-ups. Also, that brings more consistency to your overall design and to the user experience on your website because everything comes from the same source, basically. And that's something I love about Elementor pop-ups because I've been using dedicated plugins to create pop-ups. And although, you know, they're, they're nice, some of them are nice, but the issue is I need to recreate the content. I can add an image, I can create some text, but I cannot reuse blocks that already exist somewhere else on my website. So for example, with Elementor Pro, uh, what is really nice is that you can use global elements. And once you have a global element that you're going to insert into your pop-up, if you change it anywhere else on the website, then you don't need to uh, update your pop-up. It will be updated automatically. Six, no additional setup is required. Basically, you just go to your Elementor library and you're just going to add a new pop-up. That's about it. Once you start, you'll be in the interface and you're just going to create your pop-up or you can launch it from the library as we'll see in a moment, but there's nothing more to it. There's no new thing to learn about the interface. You're just going to use Elementor as you used to. Seven, you're not limited in page views or in the number of pop-ups that you can create. So as we see on this page, I created a few pop-ups. Number one, and here I have this um, kind of different full screen dressing of the page. Number three, I have an opt-in. Number four, I have the age gate. Number five, I have the side panel for the login. And number six, I have the side navigation. Now, don't forget that the full screen navigation is also a pop-up. Now, there are also pop-ups that can be triggered with different triggers, such as uh, scroll events, or just uh, a limited amount of time or exit intent or, or inactivity. We'll see that later, but there are a lot of options. So for example, if I refresh this page, uh, after three seconds, you will see one of the pop-up appear at the bottom of the screen. 
as you can see. And now if I scroll to if I scroll to 70% of the page, you're going to see this pop up appearing. So as I mentioned earlier, it's not just about pop ups, it's about those slide ins and basically all the little things that can catch your visitors attention. So as you can see, you're not limited in the number of page views or in the number of pop-ups you can create. And you can use Elementor pop-ups on as many websites as your Elementor Pro license allows. And at the time of recording this video, here are the pricing. $49 per year for one site, $99 per year for three sites, and $199 per year for unlimited sites. And in my opinion, that's a no-brainer. I mean, the unlimited um plan is the best plan in my opinion and it's going to pay itself in just one project now with the pop-up features there's a lot of stuff that you can use maybe you you are an online marketer and maybe um you've been using expensive tools that that can do just that and the great news here is that the elementor pop-ups feature is just part of elementor you don't pay extra for it so if you're looking for a tool that can create that that can help you create a website and use marketing tools, then you should definitely consider Elementor Pro. Eight, Elementor pop-up is already packed with a lot of beautiful templates. So once you create a new pop-up, you can either build one from scratch or you can use one of the beautiful templates already inside. So if I look at the templates here, let's say that I want, I want to create an opt-in. So I'm just going to select insert and it's going to download and generate the pop-up for me. As you can see, there's already an animation in. So that's great, especially if you lack inspiration. Now in my case, I like to design my pop-ups from scratch, but actually not really from scratch. Usually I will choose one template and then I'm going to tweak it. And it's a, it's a gain of time for me because Everything's already in place. I'm just going to change what I want to change. So as we've seen, there are different type of pop-ups. You have uh, the slide-ins, you have the opt-ins, you have the regular pop-up, you have the side panels. You really need to look at the different examples and try it out, you know, have fun with it, play with it until you find what you like best and that you're going to use in different parts of your website. Now, I believe that Elementor team will keep on adding new designs from time to time. So watch out for the new designs. And in the meantime, you can just go look at showcase galleries of the best pop-ups. You know, you don't just want to do the regular pop-ups that everybody hates. You really want to think this through and really trying to find what can catch your visitor's attention. I mean, on your website, what can catch your website visitor's attention, but at the same time, not be too annoying. And for that, we have the display options, the targeting and the triggering options. Nine, with Elementor pop-ups, it's easy to create advanced targeting and triggering. So for example, if I'm happy with this pop-up design, what I can do is click on display conditions. So here, for example, let's say I just want to include this on a particular page. So I'm going to choose singular, I'm going to choose pages, and then I'm going to select my home page. Next, I need to choose a trigger. So here we have on page load. So when the page loads, the pop-up will appear. You can also say, uh, I want this to appear after 10 seconds, for example, after five seconds, whatever you want. It can be on scroll. So you can choose the direction up or down. And when it reaches a, when it reaches a certain percentage of the page, then the pop-up will be triggered. You can decide to trigger the pop-up when you scroll to an, to an element. So basically what you would do is add a class to an element. It could be a section, it could be an image, it could be a title, a button, whatever you want. And once you scroll and that element is in view within the browser, then the pop-up will be triggered. On click. And first I was a bit confused because I thought I could use the on click triggering event, just like the on scroll to event where you can add a class to any element. But with the on click event here, they only um, allow you to specify how many clicks should trigger the pop up. So basically, what that means is that if you select two clicks and you save, what happens is when you land on that page after two clicks, wherever the clicks are, it will trigger the pop up. That's not really what I wanted. Uh, what I wanted is to be able to click on a button, on an image, on something, and then a pop-up is triggered 
and I will show you a little bit later how to achieve that. It's very easy. It's just not the place where you, where you set it up. The next point is after inactivity. So you can specify, for example, after 30 seconds on the page, the pop-up will be triggered. And on page exit intent. And that happens when you want to uh, leave the website and the mouse is going up outside the browser, then it will trigger the pop-up. So let's select on page load after five seconds. And here you can select advanced rules. So you should say, okay, it should be triggered after three page views, after two sessions, show it up to up to three times maximum because you don't want to annoy people. You can also trigger the pop-up when the visitor arrives from a specific URL. So for example, you could it could be from a Facebook post, from a tweet, or where, wherever you want, from a landing page. You can also trigger the pop-up when people arrive from search engines, from external links, internal links. You can hide the pop-up for logged in users. So it's very nice because basically you can have pop-ups for people who are not yet enrolled on your website, for example, and people who are already enrolled, they would be annoyed if they keep seeing the pop-ups, uh, although they're already enrolled. And you can decide to show the pop-ups on specific devices. So once you're happy with your options, so as a reminder, I decided to show this pop-up pop on the home page, and the trigger is on page load after five seconds. So I'm just going to save and close and it's saving. So now if I go back to my website and I go to the home page, I should see the pop-up appear after roughly five seconds. So let's wait. And as you can see, our pop-up is working and is configured. 10. Elementor pop-ups allows for a seamless integration with email marketing tools. So following up on our previous example, if I select the form, for example, I can go to actions after submit. And here I can add, um, of course, I can add emails. But if I want to connect to a marketing tool, I could connect to MailChimp, Drip, ActiveCampaign, GetResponse, and to a whole lot of different extra uh, email marketing tools with webhooks. So it's not different than when you build a form with Elementor, but now you can integrate all of these services within a pop-up. So I hope that this video helped you see the power of Elementor pop-ups, although I've only scratched the surface here. Now, I'd be curious to know what is your favorite feature about Elementor pop-ups? Let me know in the comments and don't forget, if you're interested in purchasing Elementor Pro, you will find a direct link in the description of this video. Now, to be crystal clear, this is an affiliate link, which means that I do get a commission if you purchase a license after clicking on my link. But one, I only recommend Elementor because I love the product. And two, commissions help me support this channel and create free content. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like it as it really helps growing this channel. And if you know anyone that could benefit from it, please share it now. If you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the notification bell so that you never miss anything. Now, if you want to brand market and grow your business in the digital age, make sure you subscribe to my email newsletter so that you never miss a share of digital alchemy, as well as tips, tools, services, and case studies that can help you grow your business online. So that's it for this episode. I hope to see you around. And in the meantime, don't forget to invest in your success.